Change can be scary, especially when it affects a huge part of your life. But change can also bring about new possibilities, new opportunities that you never could have imagined. Welcome back to Stu Talks, where Stu talks and you listen. So today I'm playing Paladins, which I've played recently on the channel on a stream. So that's the footage you're watching now. Uh, so I just wanted to mention that before we got into this episode. So a lot of you right now are headed back to school. It's fall again, it's time for homework and projects and studying and all that kind of stuff. So it's a big change from uh, summer and it may be your first year of college, your first year of high school, your first year of middle school, your first year of doing your actual career. So, you know, it's big, it's big things. Maybe first year of grad school, whatever. Whatever you're doing. Um, it's a big change in your life, probably. And it's, it's scary. It's, it's new, but it's also, like, uncertain. What's gonna come next? What's... What am I doing next? What am I supposed to be doing? And that's... Those are questions that I've been asking myself lately as well. Uh, and I haven't really announced this on the channel, but I actually withdrew from college for this fall semester. Uh, now I'll explain why that is. I was just having issues with classes, as far as like scheduling issues, I had to switch my schedule around twice, and so I was a week behind in two classes, and I was already struggling from last year. So it didn't seem like the perfect setup for me for, to get my GPA back up to where it needed to be. So I decided that I needed some time off, and so I withdrew for this semester. Now, what lies ahead is uncertain. I don't know if I will be going back for the spring semester. I hope that I might do that, but I really don't know. Um, right now, I'm hoping to, you know, to keep up with the channel and edit videos for people. I've been doing editing commissions, as I have, I may have discussed before. So, it's a lot of things, and I'm, I have multiple endeavors that I'm trying to do. I also will be trying to change some things on the channel, because I haven't been doing things on the channel like I've wanted to. I haven't been making meaningful videos like I started out doing, or I tried to start out doing. It seems like I've just been, I've gotten to this zone where I just feel like I have to put out a video and it doesn't matter the quality of it, it just has to get up. Like, every, every week, every, every week I have to have three videos. And so I'm still going to stick the, to that schedule. But I'm going to work harder at making sure that they are quality videos that actually have a message and a purpose. And are not just, hey, I'm going to play a game with a friend, we're going to record it, and I'm going to upload it. It's not just about that. It's about making content that will make you guys smile, will brighten your day, will inspire you to do cool things with your life, inspire you to keep moving forward. And that's really what I want to do. So these gaming videos, these random uh, games that I'm doing with people aren't exactly what I want to do. Now that's fine if I do that, but you know, I have to record something that I actually have a good time doing. And I feel like I've been forcing myself to do these things just so that I can do them. And that's not what I should be doing. So, I need to change some things around here. It is so terrifying. Whether you choose to change something or change just happens to you. It is so scary. Because... You know, like I said before, there's so many uncertainties, there's so many things that you don't know 
You you just don't know what's gonna happen, right? You can't tell the future, no one can. Um but what you have to do is find the positive things in that change. Find all of the good things in that change. So, you know, like first year of college, man, you are opened up to a brand new world of people that you can meet and talk to and socialize with and hang out with, uh, new friends that you can make. There's also new, new opportunities for you. Like, um, maybe new places to intern or something, or, um, just new, like, job opportunities, new connections that you can make, you can use later on in your career. Um, so, it really opens up a lot of things. New schools, you know, op open up, open you up to all these new people that you can talk to, um, new resources that you can use. Lots of great things that can help you out. For me, hopefully this has opened me up to lots of free time that I can use. Um, and uh, <laughs> hopefully I can use this time to figure out what I really want to do with my life. Uh, because, you know, I love editing, I love uh, creating these videos. And, you know, I can't do this full-time at the moment. Probably not for a while. So I need some sort of, like, venture or some sort of, like, actual day job that I can work, that I would enjoy doing. You know, I don't want to put myself through a full day of, like, boring desk work, you know? Um, you know, I just gotta, I gotta figure things out. But it, this lets me, this gives me the time to actually think about those things instead of, you know, being stacked with homework all the time and stuff like that. And, um, this is just specifically what works best for me. I'm not saying everyone should, like, drop from their sophomore fall semester of college. You, uh, you do what's best for you, of course. Um... But yeah, I just, I really needed this because I was just not in, um, a good place to be doing, having all that at work on my shoulders, so. And, as, as well as other things. What you just gotta do is, is find the positives in everything. Um, especially when it's something brand new, and it's something that's uncertain. Just make yourself certain about things. Like, this is where... These are the people that I will be able to spend my time with now. Um, these are the things I'll be able to do now that I'm in this place. These are all the things that I have opened myself up to be able to do in the future because of this change. Um, so, you know, it changes hard, as, as was, is everything, um, but change is really hard. But you really gotta just, you know, find find the positives in everything, and um, lend yourself to new opportunities that are opening up to you. Another thing that you can probably do is think about all of the negative things that were affecting you before, before the change. Maybe you, maybe you escaped from something that was holding you back. Maybe you were being held down by some sort of outside force and you needed to get away from it. Just remind yourself of that. Remind yourself of where you were before and where you are now. And that will help a lot too. And I think that if you if you do that and you remind yourself where you are, um, that will help tremendously. I made a tweet a while ago, uh, and I might put it up on screen, but it says, don't be afraid of change. Change can bring new, amazing things that can impact your life in positive ways. And it was a Wednesday wisdom kind of thing. So think about that. Change can bring 
new and amazing things that can affect your life in positive ways and also negative ways but you gotta focus on the positive always always focus on the positive me your first time going off to college it's you know it separates you from your family it's difficult it's difficult when you know you can't see your family every day you can't talk to your you can't go talk to your mom every day or your sister or your dad or something it is hard but focusing on the brand new opportunities that you have now it's great <laughs> it's it's good to think about those things so don't be afraid of it it's scary but you if you focus on those positive things you all of that fear and um, uncertainty will just go away so I hope that helped you I hope that uh, helped you to um, not be afraid of the future anyway I think that's gonna do it I hope you guys did enjoy this episode I hope it really helps you out uh, with uh, maybe some change that you're trying to figure out or that you're um, uncertain about I hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you did, remember to leave a like, leave a comment with your feedback, subscribe for more if you like what you see here. If you like this type of video and you want to see more episodes of Stu Talks, check out the playlist on the end card at the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and have an awesome day. Bye.